Tony Gurney, shares of Ardmore Shipping are down over 20% so far this year. What I want to know is how correlated are you to the price of oil? Because one would think with all the oil out there that this would cause shipping rates to rise and help you out. You're, you're absolutely right, Greg. In fact, we're inversely correlated to the price of oil. The reality is that over the last year we've had record earnings, um, and that's continuing to 2016 for the same reasons. All that oil that's being produced has to get shipped, and it creates port congestion and, and uh, in employment for our vessels. Why do you think that the market is not recognizing that fact? Uh, I, think, I think it's just everybody's focused on the, the bigger picture, which is the impact on the broad energy sector, and they're not really recognizing that, you know, that, the exact, um, that those factors have the exact opposite impact and a you know, very positive impact on the tanker business, and in particularly our business, which is uh, moving refined products. Not everybody's missing that, however. We keep hearing that arbitrageurs uh, are making money storing oil at sea on ships like yours. Can you explain how they do it? Sure. Well, there, there are really two ways. One is if the, if the curve allows that you can actually load cargo on a ship and then you can actually cover it with futures um, uh, in the market and you can basically uh, you know, uh, lock in a gain. The other way it's happening, though, is that ships are taking longer to discharge when they get to ports, and that's effectively floating storage. And that is in, that's predominantly what's happening in our business. And, and it's really boosting demand. And you ship refined product, but now the U.S. can export crude as well. Can you ex tell me how this affects... Uh, the shipping business, both sure. refined and crude going out there, uh, do we need more ships? Do we need less ships? What's going on? Well, I think it's net positive. Um, I think the, you know, the main thing is that the, the, the very small flows of crude oil coming out of the U.S. are not really going to have an impact on refinery runs, and that's the key thing for us. <clears throat> but in the aggregate, I think it is going to create more tanker demand. And to the point about supply, uh, the supply of the, the order book for our type of vessels is going to be at 20-year lows uh, probably within the next uh, quarter. All right, so we talked about refineries. Let's talk about refinancing. You refinanced your debt about two weeks ago. How big a load is this off your shoulders? Well, what it really does is it, 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 it's a capstone for our new building program. We've tripled our fleet in the last three years, um, and actually that's all come on just at the right time. And so we're refinancing all the debt associated with that, stretching it out, reducing the cost, and improving our cash flow. All right, and you're going to need that cash flow because you pay a 9.4% dividend right now. Is that sustainable with your price of your stock around nine and three quarters. Yeah, so we have, a, we have a, a new dividend policy that was announced about four months ago. We pay out 60% of, of our earnings um, every quarter. So as our earnings fluctuate, so will the dividend. Uh, we believe, though, that it's going to continue to have a very, very attractive yield. You like a floating REIT? Uh, well, we'd, uh, yeah, but that's right. We are a floating REIT. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tony okay. Gurney. Great. Great to see you. And thank you for watching the street.